Welcome back, everyone. So, in the last session, we saw how to convert a non-terminating reoccurring decimal into p by q form, and we discussed various types of decimals which can convert, which can be converted into p by q form. Right. Now, there is this uh, direct method also exist in which we can, you know, obviously ignore that much of lengthy calculations. But that direct method is more or less of an observation. So let's try to observe these p by q fraction first, right? So this is this is what I am going to discuss. I am going to discuss direct method. This is a short trick. This is a direct method, right? Now, see, we converted zero point three bar into three by nine. Right. We also converted 0.7 upon 0.7 bar as 7 upon 9. If you have noticed, we have also con converted here when when I was doing the calculation, I directly wrote 0.35 bar as 35 upon 99. If you recall in the previous video, right. So there is a simple observation that we can uh, get from here is if we want to achieve the p by q form of type 1 decimal, then all we need to do, for example, there is this 0 0.73 bar is written. It will directly be written as 73 upon 99, right? What if there is this decimal is written 0 0.305 bar, then it would be written as 305 upon 999. There is no rocket science in that. All you need to do is just to put number of times the 9 as many digits are reoccurring, right? There, after the decimal, two digits are reoccurring. So, I have put two 9s in the denominator. Here, three digits are reoccurring. So, three 9s have been put in the denominator. You can obviously check the uh, you know, proof of this by using your own calculation. You just take this is equals to x, then 100x will be equals to 73.73. And when you subtract, you will be getting 73 upon 99 only, right? So, this was the first type, first direct method, right? What about the second direct method? As you can observe, we got 0 0.65 bar as 59 upon 90. Right. Now, let's try to observe that how we have achieved this fraction. Right. This I can achieve. We had 0 0.65 bar only. Right. So, let's write 65, what we had originally. And how we can get 59 out of 65 if I subtract 6. And in the denominator, I have 9 and 0. Now, what you can conclude from here? See, 65 is the original number without decimal and without bar. 6 is the non-reoccurring decimal was there, decimal digit, right? On the left of the, on the right of the decimal, there was only one digit 6, which was non-reoccurring, right? So, that we have subtracted. And then in the denominator, 9 has come on the basis of previous logic, that is only one digit is reoccurring. So, 9 has come. And now, why 0 has come? Because 0, only one 0 is there because only one digit was non-reoccurring, right? We'll try one more example. Let's try one more example. For example, there is this number 0 0.123 bar. Now, just try to observe how we can convert into the form of p by q. This 1, 2, 3. Firstly, 0 0.65 bar we had to convert, so I written only 65. So, 0 0.123 bar is given, so I wrote only 1, 2, 3. Now, wh what we had to subtract? We have to subtract the non-reoccurring part of the decimal. That is, 1, 2 is the non-reoccurring part of the decimal, right? And then in the denominator, we write 9 as many times as are the recurring digits. So, we have only one recurring digit over here. And the number of zeros will depend on number of non-recurring digits after the decimal. 
and that is two. Right. There are two digits only that are non-recurring. So two zeros are there. And that, my dear friends, will be the P by Q form of 0 0.123 bar. So let's just simplify that. That would be nothing but 111 upon 900. This will be my answer. Right. Now let's try one more example for the sake of, you know, just make sure that you understood this thing. Now I am writing this thing 0.3 nine eight bar right now just try to calculate this thing how we can just pause the video and try to calculate so those who have already solved i am just solving for them just try to match up your answer so this would be nothing but three nine eight minus what we have to subtract we have to subtract three and then how many digits are reoccurring that as that are two digits are reoccurring so we have written nine two times and then only one digit is non reoccurring so one time zero is written right and this would be simply written as 395 upon 990 i hope it makes sense to you right now i am proceeding forward to our third example that is x3 is equals to 1.2 this was what uh, uh, zero sorry one point two three five bar this was our actual question one point two three five bar and this i read, wrote in the form of one two two three upon nine nine zero right now again i would observe i would uh, you know suggest you to try to observe how we can achieve one two two three out of one two three five and that will only give you the answer right now 1 2 1 2 3 5 if i subtract 12 from 1 2 3 5 i can get 1 2 2 3 right and in the denominator i have 2 times 9 because we have 2 recurring digit and 1 times 0 because we had only one non recurring digit so it is simple to it is analogical to the previous one right so this can be written as obviously 1 2 2 3 upon 9 9 0 let's let us quickly do one more example over here for example you have for example you have uh, 2.354 bar 2.354 bar now what will be the answer just try to calculate firstly we have to write the entire digits without the decimal and without the bar so it would be 2354 and then we will be subtracting what we will be subtracting 235 the all of the digits that are non reoccurring including decimal and after the decimal so 235 will be subtracted and upon we will be getting see after the decimal we have two non recurring digit and one recurring digit so one recurring digit that is why nine will come only once and then we have two non recurring digit so that's how we'll be getting now uh, double zero and this you can obviously simplify if i subtract you know uh, uh, 2354 minus 235 so i'll be getting nine and then one and then 121199 1, 1, 1, 9, 9 upon 900. 0, 0. I hope it makes sense. Let's just try to verify that. 3145 and write 2 and 1, 3. So that was all about the theoretical part. That's how we can observe and get the answer. The, uh, I have also jotted down the formula for you. That is we have direct method as p by q form is equals to complete number minus non repeating number upon number of 9 as number of repeating number after that number after that written number of zeros as the number of non repeating number after the decimal right so uh, that's how we can get using this formula we can get the p by q form of any type of decimal. I have also given you the practical aspect. Thank you so much.